The story begins with a seemingly ordinary morning in the small town of North Carthage, Missouri. Nick Dunn, an average-looking man with a troubled expression, walks through the front door of his charming suburban home. The house is usually a sanctuary, but today, it feels like a battleground. Nick, muttering to himself, something's not right. He freezes in the entryway, his eyes darting around the living room. The once neat space is now in disarray, furniture overturned, items scattered, and a smear of red on the wall. Panic sets in as he notices the absence of his wife, Amy. Nick, louder, more desperate. Amy, are you here? Amy, there is no response. His heart races as he moves through the house, checking every room with growing anxiety. When he reaches the kitchen, he grabs his phone and dials 911 with trembling fingers. Nick says, help, my wife is missing. The house is a mess and there's blood everywhere. I think something terrible has happened. Detectives Rhonda Bonnie and Jamie arrive at the scene within an hour. The house is swarming with officers and forensic experts, and the media begins to gather outside, eager to get a glimpse of the unfolding drama. Detective Bonnie, Mr. Dunn, we need to know what happened here. Can you tell us where your wife might be? Nick, I came home from work and found this. Amy is gone. I have no idea where she could be. Detective Bonnie, any recent issues with your wife? Any problems that could explain this? Nick, we've had our problems, like any couple, but nothing that would make her disappear. The investigation quickly turns into a media circus. Nick becomes the center of attention, his every move scrutinized by the public. The media paints him as a suspect, amplifying every detail of his life. Nick's sister, Margot, arrives to support him. She looks at Nick with concern as he paces nervously. Margot, Nick, you have to stay calm. The police are doing everything they can. Nick, how can I stay calm when they're making me look like a murderer? This is all so wrong. As the investigation progresses, Detective Bonnie uncovers Amy's diary, which reveals a side of Amy that no one had seen before. Amy, voiceover from diary, Nick was charming at first, but he changed. He became detached and uninterested. I tried everything to make him see how much I was hurting. Detective Bunny, this diary doesn't paint a very flattering picture of your marriage. Mr. Dunn, Nick, it's not the full story. Amy had her issues too. We weren't as perfect as everyone thought. The plot takes a dramatic turn when it's revealed that Amy staged her own disappearance. Through a series of flashbacks, it becomes clear that Amy meticulously planned every detail to frame Nick for her murder. Amy, voiceover, I knew Nick was unfaithful. I was tired of being the perfect wife, so I decided to become the perfect victim. I left clues to point to Nick as the culprit. Amy had also deliberately got Nick to sign the insurance papers, so that the police would think that Nick had deliberately killed Amy for money. Amy also befriends one of her pregnant neighbors, and then she takes her pregnant friend's urine and drops it on her bathroom. Why did Amy do this? We will know this later. Amy had also taken out blood from her body, spilled it on the floor, and then cleaned it, so that later the police would find traces of blood. The detective finds Amy's urine in her washroom, after checking which it is found that Amy was pregnant. While Nick says that this is not right, I have not even slept with him for many months, our physical relationship was not good. Actually, Amy had done this so that Nick could get the harshest punishment for killing a pregnant woman. Why is Amy doing all this with Nick? Actually, Amy was a very rich girl, and Nick was a street poor boy. Amy fell in love with Nick, so she married Nick. Amy worked, and Nick stayed at home like a pet dog. But then at Nick's insistence, Amy opened a bar for him with her own money, which later Nick and his sister started running. But Nick was a cheap man. Nick soon started an affair with a girl. And one day Amy saw Nick very close with that girl. Seeing all this, Amy's heart broke, because Amy had left many of her things for Nick, while Nick was cheating on her. That's why Amy hatched this conspiracy to teach Nick a lesson. Amy had now changed her appearance and was living in a small town. But one day his neighbor snatched his money from him, and now Amy had no money at all. So Amy seeks help from her childhood boyfriend Desi. Amy tells Desi everything about Nick and her conspiracy. Desi still loves Amy very much, so he gives Amy shelter in his house. In Amy's town we see thousands of people standing with candles because everyone still believes that Amy is alive, 
and everyone is praying for Amy's return. Here Nick gives a very emotional speech in front of everyone. He says, Amy, wherever you are, come back, I love you very much. Nick's girlfriend is also standing there in the crowd, and when she hears all this, she gets very angry. That's why she tells the reporters that Nick and I are having an affair. After knowing all this, everyone starts hating Nick. Now people's doubt turns into belief. People say that Nick has made Amy disappear. Nick's lawyer says that now all the evidence is against you, so you go on a famous talk show. Though you pretend to tell your wife Amy that I love you very much, wherever you are, come back. Following the lawyer's advice, Nick goes to a talk show. Here Nick pretending to be emotional wrote a letter saying, Amy I love you, I miss you a lot. You come back now. Amy is watching this talk show with her boyfriend Desi, and she gets trapped in Nick's false love. Amy now wants to go back to her home, but Desi does not want this. He says, you stay with me, we will create our own kingdom by having lots of children. But Amy had made a new plan in her mind. Now she starts agreeing with all Desi's words, due to which Desi also becomes happy. When Desi goes out of the house, Amy makes bruises on her body and then pleads in front of the cameras installed in the house. Then when Desi comes home, Amy beats him and comes to her house. Many media persons have come around his house. After this Amy is admitted to the hospital. Amy tells the detective that Desi was my ex-boyfriend, but he still loved me as much as before. That's why he was the one who kidnapped me and used to torture me. If you don't believe it, you can watch the recordings from his home cameras. But when he was hitting me, he got hit by me in self-defense. After this Nick brings her to his home. Nick says, stop pretending now, I know you are lying. Amy first takes off Nick's clothes and checks that he doesn't have any cameras. Then she tells Nick the whole truth. Amy says that even the street dog will not believe you because now everyone is with me. I came back only after watching your interview, otherwise I would never have come back. Nick decides to divorce Amy. Now here Amy gives her upper hand and says, I am going to be the mother of your child. Nick says, this is not possible. I have not come close to you for many months. Amy says, now I am going to become a mother with the same sperm that you had saved in the fertility clinic. Nick's mind becomes dizzy after hearing all this. Nick says, I will never be with you. Amy says, you have to stay with me, the whole world is against you. And when your child is born, I will instill this hatred in his heart also. Now Nick is badly trapped, because he knows that this child is his responsibility. So he decides that he will stay with Amy. From this story of friendship, we learn that always be loyal to your partner, otherwise you too may have to face such situations.